Chapter 1. The Spark of Imagination Imagination is a powerful force that sparks creativity in our lives. It is the fuel that ignites the creative fire within us, allowing us to explore new ideas and possibilities. With imagination, we can transcend the boundaries of what is known and venture into the realm of innovation. Creativity flourishes when we give free rein to our imagination. It enables us to see beyond the ordinary and envision the extraordinary. We can imagine new worlds, design innovative products, and devise groundbreaking solutions to complex problems. Imagination allows us to think outside the box and challenge the status quo. In the realm of art, imagination is the gateway to the creation of masterpieces. Painters, writers, and musicians draw inspiration from the depths of their imagination to produce works that touch the hearts and minds of others. They tap into their creative reserves, weaving together ideas and concepts that push the boundaries of human expression. Imagination is their compass, guiding them through uncharted territories of innovation and originality. When we engage our imagination, we become explorers of new territories, pioneers of unexplored realms. We break free from the constraints of traditional thinking and open ourselves up to infinite possibilities. Imagination is the key that unlocks the door to innovation. It is the driving force behind scientific discoveries, technological advancements, and artistic revolutions. Innovation thrives on imagination because it requires the ability to envision a future that does not yet exist. It is through our imagination that we can imagine a world with cleaner energy sources, more efficient transportation systems, and sustainable solutions to global problems. Imagination fuels the creative process allowing us to devise new ways of doing things and making the world a better place. Imagination also plays a crucial role in problem solving. When faced with challenges, we can tap into our creative reserves to generate unique and innovative solutions. By thinking outside the box and exploring unconventional ideas, we can overcome obstacles and find answers that lead to progress and growth. The power of imagination lies in its ability to inspire and captivate. It sparks curiosity and encourages us to look beyond the surface of things. It allows us to see the world through new lenses, unveiling hidden connections and unveiling hidden truths. Imagination fuels our desire to innovate, to create, and to leave a lasting impact on the world. In conclusion, Imagination is the spark of creativity that propels us towards new horizons. It fuels our desire to explore, innovate, and create. With imagination, we can transcend the limits of the known and venture into uncharted territories of ideas and possibilities. It is through our imaginative endeavors that we bring about innovation and make a meaningful difference in the world. So, Embrace your imagination, nurture your creativity, and let your ideas and innovations reshape the world around you. Question, how does imagination play a role in creativity? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 2, Nurturing Creative Mindsets As Susan sat down to write in her journal, she couldn't help but reflect on the lessons she had learned since embarking on her journey to nurture her creative mindset. The second chapter of her adventure was all about embracing curiosity, viewing failure as a learning opportunity, and maintaining an open mindset. Curiosity had become Susan's driving force, guiding her exploration of the world around her. She had discovered that asking questions and seeking new knowledge helped her to see things from different perspectives. Each day, she would challenge herself to find something that piqued her curiosity, whether it was reading an intriguing article or engaging in a thought-provoking conversation. Susan believed that curiosity was the foundation for nurturing her creative mindset. As she delved deeper into her creative journey, 
Susan realized that failure was not something to be feared, but rather an essential part of the learning process. She had come to understand that every stumble and setback provided an opportunity for growth and improvement. With an open heart, Susan embraced her failures, reframing them as valuable stepping stones on her path to success. Each failure became a learning opportunity, allowing her to refine her ideas and approach challenges with renewed determination. Maintaining an open mindset was another crucial aspect of Susan's creative journey. She discovered that being open to new ideas and different perspectives expanded her horizons and enriched her understanding of the world. Susan actively sought out diverse opinions and experiences, recognizing that true innovation could only come from embracing a wide range of insights. With an open mindset, she was able to challenge her own assumptions and cultivate a spirit of collaboration and empathy. Susan's newfound creative mindset began to shape her daily life. She took on new hobbies, such as painting and photography, allowing her imagination to run wild on the canvas and capture fleeting moments through the lens of her camera. She surprised herself with the depth of her creativity as ideas flowed freely and uninhibitedly. However, Susan also realized that nurturing a creative mindset required intentional effort. She couldn't simply rely on inspiration to strike. Rather, she had to actively seek out opportunities for creativity. She dedicated time each day for quiet reflection and brainstorming sessions, creating a nurturing space for her thoughts and ideas to flourish. As Susan continued to explore her creative potential, she began to notice a shift in her perspective. The world seemed brighter and full of possibilities. She embraced new challenges and collaborations with enthusiasm, knowing that even the smallest step forward was a step towards growth and innovation. With her curiosity leading the way, Susan expanded her horizons, unafraid to embrace failure as a learning opportunity. Her open mindset allowed her to welcome new ideas and perspectives, opening doors to unexpected adventures. Through nurturing her creative mindset, Susan had discovered a world of endless possibilities, ready to be explored with wonder and excitement. Question, what are some strategies for developing a creative mindset? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 3, Breaking the Barriers of Conformity as Susan delved deeper into her creative journey, she realized that breaking free from the chains of conformity was an essential step towards unlocking her true potential. Chapter 3, Breaking the Barriers of Conformity, became a turning point in her quest to nurture a creative mindset that celebrated individuality and challenged the status quo. Conformity had always been a formidable obstacle in Susan's path towards creativity. The fear of standing out and being judged had stifled her imagination for far too long. But now, armed with a newfound confidence and a desire to break free, Susan was determined to shatter these shackles and embrace her unique voice. The first step in breaking these barriers was to challenge the notion that creativity had to fit within a predetermined mold. Susan recognized that true creativity thrived on individuality and the courage to think outside the box. She sought inspiration from artists and trailblazers who had defied norms and carved their own paths. Their stories filled her with a sense of possibility and emboldened her to explore uncharted territories. With each bold stroke of her paintbrush and each innovative idea, Susan felt the weight of conformity slowly lifting. She realized that creativity was not about conforming to society's expectations, but about unleashing the spark of individuality within. She no longer feared being different, for she saw being unique as an asset that set her apart from the crowd. But breaking the barriers of conformity was not without its challenges. Susan encountered skepticism and doubt, from others who couldn't comprehend her unconventional approach. Yet, she remained undeterred, 
fueled by a burning determination to stay true to herself. She knew that conformity only bred mediocrity, while embracing her individuality would lead to true innovation. As Susan continued on her journey, she sought out others who shared her passion for breaking free from conformity. Together, they formed a supportive community that celebrated each other's eccentricities and encouraged wild and unconventional ideas. They understood that the true power of creativity lay in collaboration and the willingness to challenge and question the norm. Outside the confines of conformity, Susan found a world of unlimited possibilities. She experimented with different art forms and expressed her thoughts in unconventional ways. She let her imagination run free, unbound by the limitations imposed by societal expectations. The more she embraced her individuality, the freer she felt to explore and create without fear or inhibition. But breaking free from conformity wasn't just about personal liberation. Susan understood that her journey had the potential to inspire others to do the same. She shared her experiences and insights through blogs and workshops, encouraging others to embrace their unique voices and defy the pressures of conformity. It wasn't always an easy path, and Susan encountered setbacks along the way. But she had learned from her earlier lessons failure was merely a stepping stone, and challenges were opportunities for growth. She persevered, knowing that the rewards of a creative and fulfilling life were well worth the struggles. As Susan immersed herself in a world of creativity and individuality, she discovered a richness and depth she had never known before. Breaking the barriers of conformity had unleashed a torrent of imagination and innovation, and she realized that when one embraces their true self, the possibilities are endless. Through Chapter 3, Breaking the Barriers of Conformity, Susan broke free from the chains that had held her back for far too long. She celebrated her uniqueness, challenged the norm, and paved the way for others to do the same. With every brushstroke, every word written, and every idea expressed, Susan became an inspiration for others to break free and embrace their own creative journeys. Question. How can we overcome the barriers of conformity to unleash our creativity? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 4. Cultivating a Creative Environment Cultivating a creative environment as Susan continued her creative journey, she realized the importance of creating a supportive and nurturing environment for her creativity to flourish. In Chapter 4, she explored the essence of cultivating a creative environment and discovered the transformative power it held. Susan understood that a creative environment was not solely defined by the physical space, but also by the people and resources within it. She surrounded herself with like-minded individuals who shared her passion for artistic expression and understood the challenges and joys of the creative process. Together, they formed a supportive community that encouraged and inspired one another. This community became a wellspring of resources, sharing their knowledge and experiences with one another. From art supplies to technical expertise, each person brought something unique to the table. Susan found herself immersed in a wealth of creative tools and ideas, enabling her to explore new mediums and techniques that she had never before considered. Collaboration played a fundamental role in cultivating a creative environment. The community fostered a culture of collaboration, where ideas were shared freely and feedback was given constructively. They recognized that collaboration brought about new perspectives and pushed the boundaries of their creativity. Working together, they created an environment where everyone's unique strengths were celebrated, fostering a sense of unity and collective growth. In this non-judgmental atmosphere, Susan felt safe to take risks and experiment. There was no fear of ridicule or harsh criticism. Instead, there was encouragement and support. The community recognized that creativity thrived in an atmosphere of acceptance, 
where vulnerability was embraced and mistakes were seen as opportunities for learning and growth. Within this creative environment, Susan discovered that her own creative potential continued to expand. She found inspiration in the ideas and works of her fellow artists, and her own work evolved as she absorbed their insights and techniques. The constant exposure to different perspectives led to a richer and more diverse body of work, each piece a testament to the power of collaboration and a testament to the strength of their creative environment. Outside of the community, Susan worked to extend the principles of a creative environment into other aspects of her life. She sought to create spaces that encouraged and nurtured creativity, whether it be her workspace, her home, or even her mindset. She surrounded herself with objects and images that sparked her imagination, and she made time to engage in activities that stimulated her creativity, such as going for walks or visiting art exhibitions. Throughout Chapter 4, Susan continued to refine her understanding of a creative environment and its impact on her creative journey. She built a community that celebrated diversity and embraced the power of collaboration. She recognized the importance of resources and constantly sought ways to expand her creative toolkit. Most importantly, Susan prioritized creating an atmosphere that was non-judgmental and supportive, knowing that this was the fertile ground where creativity blossomed. As Susan cultivated her creative environment, she realized that creativity was not a solitary pursuit. It was a shared experience that thrived within the collective energy of supportive individuals. Through their collaboration, resources, and non-judgmental attitude, Susan and her community fostered an environment where creativity could thrive and flourish. In doing so, they transformed their creative journeys and inspired others to do the same. Question, what are some ways to create a supportive environment for creativity? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 5, Tapping into Inspiration. Chapter 5, Tapping into inspiration in Chapter 5, Susan embarked on a quest to tap into the wellspring of inspiration that lay hidden within her creative soul. She understood that inspiration was not a finite resource, but rather a boundless force that could be found in unexpected places and experiences. To begin her exploration, Susan sought out diverse sources of inspiration. She delved into books immersing herself in stories that transported her to different worlds and perspectives. The tales of courageous heroes, heart-wrenching tragedy, and unexpected triumphs sparked her imagination and ignited her creativity. She also sought inspiration in the natural world. Susan took long walks through forests, allowing herself to be captivated by the delicate beauty of a blooming flower or the intricate patterns of a tree's bark. The sounds of birdsong and the rustling of leaves served as a symphony of inspiration, weaving their way into her creative process. But it wasn't just external sources that fueled Susan's inspiration. She discovered that reflection played a vital role in unlocking her creative potential. Taking time to pause and contemplate allowed her to process her experiences and delve deeper into her own thoughts and emotions. Through journaling and meditation, Susan uncovered a well of inspiration that stemmed from her own unique perspective. In her quest for inspiration, Susan also began to recognize the importance of connecting with other creative individuals. She sought out conversations and collaborations with artists from diverse backgrounds, each with their own unique set of experiences and artistic styles. These encounters challenged her preconceived notions and pushed the boundaries of her creativity. Listening to their stories, Susan realized that inspiration could be found not only in grand adventures, but also in the everyday moments of life. Each person had a unique journey that had shaped their creative expression, and these diverse experiences became a wellspring of ideas for Susan. As she immersed herself in the stories and experiences of others, 
Susan discovered the power of empathy in her creative process, understanding and connecting with the emotions and struggles of those around her enriched her artistry, infusing her work with a deeper sense of meaning and authenticity. With each encounter and moment of reflection, Susan's understanding of inspiration grew. She learned to embrace the ebb and flow of creative energy, knowing that it was not always constant but could be nurtured and reignited through exploration and contemplation. Throughout Chapter 5, Susan's creative journey took on new dimensions as she tapped into the well of inspiration that surrounded her. She ventured beyond the conventional sources, seeking inspiration in books, nature, and personal reflection. By connecting with diverse individuals and valuing their unique experiences, Susan broadened her creative horizons and expanded her artistic repertoire. In this quest for inspiration, Susan came to realize that creativity was not limited to a chosen few. It was a universal force that resided within each individual, waiting to be awakened and nurtured. By embracing the power of inspiration, Susan unlocked her creative potential and set forth on a path of infinite possibilities. Question, how can we tap into our sources of inspiration? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 6, Embracing Creative Risks Chapter 6, Embracing Creative Risks In Chapter 6, Susan's artistic journey took a bold turn as she embraced the idea of taking creative risks. She understood that staying within the safe boundaries of her comfort zone would limit her growth and potential as an artist. With a newfound confidence, Susan embarked on a thrilling adventure of exploring uncharted territories where endless possibilities awaited. Susan realized that taking creative risks was not merely about pushing herself to try new techniques or experiment with unfamiliar mediums. It was about embracing the uncertainty and vulnerability that came with stepping outside her artistic comfort zone. Each risk she took became an opportunity for growth, pushing her boundaries and challenging her to think differently. One of the first creative risks Susan took was to participate in an art exhibition featuring emerging artists. The prospect of showcasing her work alongside established artists was intimidating, but she knew that it was a chance to gain exposure and receive valuable feedback. As she hung her paintings on the gallery walls, she felt a mixture of excitement and nervousness. During the exhibition, Susan had conversations with fellow artists who had also dared to step out of their comfort zones. They shared stories of their own creative risks and the lessons they had learned along the way. Susan realized that taking risks was not exclusive to her journey. It was an integral part of every artist's path to greatness. Embracing creative risks also meant challenging her own preconceived notions and letting go of the fear of failure. Susan recognized that failure was not the end, but rather a stepping stone towards improvement. She began experimenting with different artistic styles, pushing herself to try unconventional approaches. There were times when her experiments didn't yield the results she had hoped for, but she found valuable lessons in those moments of perceived failure. Through embracing creative risks, Susan discovered the joy of exploring uncharted artistic territories. She delved into abstract expressionism, found inspiration in street art, and even dabbled in performance art. Each new venture allowed her to grow as an artist and expand her creative horizons. As she stepped outside her comfort zone, Susan realized that taking creative risks also meant embracing vulnerability. Sharing her work with the world meant exposing herself to criticism and judgment. But instead of letting these fears hold her back, she chose to see vulnerability as a source of strength. It allowed her to connect more deeply with her audience as they could sense her authenticity and the courage it took to expose her inner thoughts and emotions. The more risks Susan took, the more her confidence as an artist grew. She realized that by challenging her boundaries, she was opening herself up to a world of endless possibilities. Each new technique she learned 
each artistic experiment she undertook brought her closer to uncovering new layers of creativity within herself. Embracing creative risks wasn't just about personal growth for Susan, it was also about inspiring other artists to take their own leaps of faith. She found joy in sharing her journey and encouraging fellow artists to venture into unexplored artistic territories. Together, they pushed the boundaries of their artistry and discovered exciting new realms of creative expression. In Chapter 6, Susan's artistic journey took on a new level of excitement and fulfillment as she wholeheartedly embraced creative risks. Stepping outside her comfort zone, she discovered that the limits of her imagination were far beyond what she had previously believed. By challenging herself, growing, and connecting with other artists, Susan opened herself up to a world of endless possibilities and became an artist unafraid to explore the infinite boundaries of her creativity. Question. Why is it important to embrace creative risks? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 7. The Role of Experimentation. Chapter 7. The Role of Experimentation in this pivotal chapter Susan explored and embraced experimentation as an essential part of her creative process. She understood that by pushing the boundaries of her artistic abilities, trying new techniques, and playing with different materials, she could unlock innovative outcomes that would propel her artistry to new heights. Experimentation became Susan's guiding principle as she embarked on her artistic journey. She set aside any preconceived notions and fear of making mistakes, fully immersing herself in the process of exploration and discovery. With each painting, she allowed herself the freedom to be spontaneous, to let her intuition guide her brush, and to embrace the unexpected. One of the first techniques Susan experimented with was impasto, creating thick, layered textures on her canvas. This added a three-dimensional quality to her paintings, inviting viewers to engage with her work on a tactile level. The use of palette knives and bold strokes allowed her to express emotions in a raw and powerful way that she hadn't achieved before. To further fuel her experimentation, Susan ventured into the world of mixed media. She combined acrylic paints with unconventional materials such as fabric scraps, newspaper clippings, and even discarded objects she found on her walks. These added elements brought a new dimension to her artwork, forcing both Susan and her audience to question traditional definitions of what art could be. As Susan delved deeper into experimentation, she discovered the power of embracing happy accidents. Sometimes, a spilled cup of water on her work table or an unintended color mix created serendipitous moments of beauty and surprise. She learned to trust these unplanned occurrences, allowing them to guide her towards uncharted artistic territories. The process of experimentation also taught Susan valuable lessons in patience and perseverance. Not every idea resulted in an immediate masterpiece. There were countless failed attempts and moments of frustration. However, instead of giving up, Susan persisted, knowing that within these perceived failures lay the seeds of future success. Through her commitment to experimentation, Susan reached a level of artistic maturity she had never imagined. She discovered the joy of pushing the limits of her imagination and embracing the unknown. Each new technique or material, she explored unlocked possibilities for innovative outcomes that fueled her creative fire. Susan's newfound confidence and willingness to experiment inspired others around her. Fellow artists sought her out for advice and guidance, eager to tap into the magic of experimentation themselves. She encouraged them to let go of their fears and to trust in their own unique creative processes. The ripple effect of her experimentation spread, igniting a community of artists who were unafraid to challenge conventions and break boundaries. As Chapter 7 unfolded, Susan's experimentation took center stage in her artistic journey. She recognized that stepping outside of her comfort zone 
and embracing the unknown was where true growth as an artist thrived. By pushing the limits of her techniques and materials, Susan opened up a realm of infinite possibilities and unearthed innovative outcomes that left a profound impact on her artistic expression. In the end, the role of experimentation became the cornerstone of Susan's creative process. It taught her to be open-minded, adaptable, and resilient. With each stroke of her brush and every new artistic venture, she continued to be amazed by the transformative power of experimentation and the unbounded potential that lay within her. Question, what role does experimentation play in the creative process? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 8, Finding Balance in Artistic Expression In Chapter 8, Susan embarked on a journey to find balance in her artistic expression. She had learned the importance of experimentation, but now she wanted to ensure that her art also had a practicality and resonated with her audience. As she continued to explore her creativity, she grappled with the question of how to authentically express herself while also creating art that others could connect with. Susan realized that finding this balance required a deep understanding of her own artistic voice. She spent hours reflecting on what truly inspired her and what message she wanted to convey through her art. By tapping into her innermost thoughts and emotions, she began to create pieces that felt genuine and spoke to her own truth. At the same time, Susan recognized the need to consider her audience. She understood that art was a form of communication, and she wanted her works to resonate with others as well. While she didn't want to compromise her authenticity, she also understood that finding a middle ground was necessary. To achieve this balance, Susan started actively seeking feedback from others. She joined local art groups and participated in exhibitions, eagerly listening to the reactions of viewers to her work. Their responses helped her gauge what elements resonated with them and what aspects needed refinement. Susan realized that feedback provided valuable insights into how her art could better connect with her audience. However, Susan also learned that it was crucial to stay true to herself. She didn't want to create art solely to please others. She wanted her voice to shine through in every brushstroke. Striving for authenticity meant expressing her unique perspective and being unafraid to challenge conventions. She realized that her artistic expression didn't have to align perfectly with what the audience expected. It could be a blend of her own vision and their desires. The process of finding this balance was both challenging and rewarding. Susan faced moments of self-doubt, questioning whether she was compromising her authenticity or losing touch with her artistic voice. It was during these times that she turned inward, reminding herself of the importance of staying true to her own artistic journey. Susan also discovered that balance wasn't a static state, but a constant process of refinement and adjustment. As she continued to create, she found herself becoming more attuned to the delicate equilibrium between artistic expression and audience engagement. By staying open to feedback, she was able to adapt her art without sacrificing her unique perspective. Ultimately, Susan realized that finding balance in her artistic expression didn't mean pleasing everyone or conforming to any particular standard. It meant staying true to herself, while also considering the impact and resonance her art had on others. It was about creating meaningful and authentic art that spoke to her soul, and connected with the souls of others. As Chapter 8 came to a close, Susan stood at a new crossroad in her artistic journey. She had recognized the importance of finding balance in her artistic expression, blending her authenticity with practicality and audience engagement. With this newfound awareness, she felt empowered to continue pushing the boundaries of her creativity knowing that she could connect with others while still staying true to her own unique voice. Question, how can artists find a balance between artistic expression and practicality? 
Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 9, Overcoming Creative Block As Susan delved further into her artistic journey, she encountered a familiar foe, the dreaded creative block. It seemed to stifle her inspiration at the most inconvenient times, leaving her feeling frustrated and overwhelmed. Susan knew she needed to develop strategies to overcome this artistic obstacle and reignite her creative spark. One of the first strategies Susan adopted was taking regular breaks. She acknowledged that continuously pushing herself, trying to force creativity, often led to burnout and further blocked her artistic flow. Instead, she embraced the power of stepping away from her work and allowing her mind to relax and recharge. During these breaks, Susan found solace in activities that brought her joy and inspiration. She would go for long walks in nature, immersing herself in the beauty of the world around her. The vibrant colors, the peaceful sounds, and the gentle breeze all contributed to clearing her mind and reigniting her passion for art. Sometimes, she would take a book or a sketch pad with her, allowing herself to be captivated by the tales and images that stirred her imagination. Another strategy Susan employed was seeking inspiration from unlikely sources. She realized that creativity could be sparked by exploring new experiences and embracing different perspectives. So, she attended art exhibits, visited museums, and sought out local cultural events. By immersing herself in the works of other artists, Susan discovered new techniques, unique styles, and a sense of connection to the larger artistic community. In her quest to overcome creative block, Susan also discovered the power of relaxation. She recognized that stress and pressure were major culprits in stifling her creativity. To combat this, she enrolled in yoga and meditation classes. Through these practices, she learned to quiet her mind and find a sense of inner peace. The meditative state opened new pathways for her imagination to flow and allowed her to approach her artwork with a refreshed and clear perspective. Additionally, Susan tapped into the therapeutic benefits of creative outlets beyond her usual medium. She explored writing, dance, and music as alternative avenues to express herself. These art forms helped her break free from the constraints of her creative block, allowing her to experiment and tap into new realms of imagination. As she implemented these strategies, Susan noticed a remarkable transformation. The creative block that had previously held her captive gradually began to crumble. Ideas flowed effortlessly onto her canvas, and her artistic voice grew bolder and more expressive. Of course, Susan still encountered moments of frustration and doubt, but she now possessed a toolbox of techniques to combat those feelings. She had come to understand that creative blocks were a natural part of the artistic journey and not a reflection of her talent or worth as an artist. Chapter 9 marked a turning point for Susan as she realized that overcoming creative block was not just about finding external sources of inspiration, but also about cultivating an internal mindset of resilience and adaptability. She had learned that breaks, seeking new experiences, relaxation, and exploring other artistic avenues were powerful tools to unleash her creative potential. With a newfound sense of confidence and a deep understanding of her own creative process, Susan was ready to face future challenges head-on. And as she forged ahead, she knew that, armed with her strategies for overcoming creative block, she could continue to create art that resonated deeply with her soul and touched the hearts of those who experienced it. Question. What strategies can be used to overcome creative block? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 10, The Power of Collaboration As Susan's artistic journey continued, she stumbled upon a realization that would forever transform her approach to creativity, the power of collaboration. She understood that by working with others, 
she could tap into a wealth of diverse perspectives and resources that would fuel her imagination and take her art to new heights. With newfound excitement, Susan sought out other artists and creatives who shared her passion for collaboration. Together, they embarked on joint projects, pooling their talents and ideas to create something truly remarkable. The process of bouncing ideas off one another, exploring different approaches, and merging their unique styles sparked a wave of inspiration that neither artist could have achieved alone. Collaboration opened up a world of possibilities for Susan. She found that by joining forces with others, she not only expanded her creative horizons, but also deepened her understanding of artistic techniques and concepts. Each artist brought their own set of skills, experiences, and perspectives to the table, allowing them to learn from one another and create something truly unique. Through these collaborations, Susan discovered the immense value of shared experiences. As the artists worked together, sharing their stories, struggles, and triumphs, a sense of camaraderie and unity was forged. They found solace in the realization that they were not alone in their artistic struggles and that their experiences could inspire and empower others. In one particularly memorable collaboration, Susan teamed up with a dancer and a musician. Their combined talents created an immersive and multi-sensory experience that captivated audiences and pushed the boundaries of traditional art forms. The dancers' graceful movements breathed life into Susan's paintings, while the musicians' melodies added a layer of depth and emotion. The power of collaboration extended beyond just the artistic realm. Susan soon discovered that it opened doors to new opportunities and resources. Through her collaborations, she gained access to shared studio spaces, art supplies, and connections within the artistic community. These resources not only elevated her art, but also provided invaluable support and networking opportunities. Collaboration proved to be more than just a means to an end. It became a way of life for Susan. She actively sought out opportunities to collaborate, whether it was through exhibitions, workshops, or online communities. In each collaboration, she cherished the opportunity to connect with fellow artists, to learn from them, and grow together. As Susan embraced the power of collaboration, she realized that it required a level of vulnerability and trust. It meant letting go of ego and embracing the idea that the collective effort was greater than any individual contribution. It also meant being open to feedback and incorporating the ideas of others into her artistic process. Chapter 10 marked a turning point for Susan. The power of collaboration breathed new life into her creativity, propelling her art to new heights. Through joining forces with others, she not only expanded her artistic skills and resources, but also formed deep connections and shared experiences that enriched her soul. Collaboration became an integral part of her artistic journey, reminding her that the magic of creativity truly flourishes when minds and hearts unite. Question, how can collaboration enhance creativity? Check the video description for the answer. Chapter 11 Sustaining the Creative Journey As Susan's artistic journey progressed and she delved deeper into the world of collaboration, she realized the importance of sustaining her creativity. She understood that artistic inspiration was not a finite resource, but rather a well that needed to be continuously replenished. This realization led her to embark on a path of self-reflection and continuous learning. Susan began to set goals for herself, both short-term and long-term, to keep her creative energy flowing. She understood that having a clear direction and purpose served as a motivational force to propel her forward. Whether it was completing a series of paintings, participating in an exhibition, or learning a new artistic technique, these goals became her guiding light. Self-reflection became a regular practice for Susan. She would take moments of solitude to ponder her artistic journey, to think about what was working and what needed improvement. 
this introspection allowed her to analyze her own artistic process, identify areas of growth, and make adjustments accordingly. Continuous learning became a cornerstone of Susan's sustainable creativity. She recognized that in order to keep growing as an artist, she needed to remain open to new ideas and stay curious. She sought out workshops, classes, and online resources to expand her artistic knowledge and challenge herself. Each new skill acquired or technique mastered added another layer of depth and versatility to her art. Motivation became Susan's driving force on her creative journey. She understood that it was not always easy to remain inspired and focused, but she found ways to stay motivated. Connecting with like-minded artists, attending art exhibitions, and immersing herself in different art forms became sources of inspiration that fueled her creativity. She also discovered the power of rewarding herself after completing milestones, whether it was indulging in a favorite treat or treating herself to a day of relaxation. Throughout her creative journey, Susan encountered obstacles and setbacks, as any artist does. However, she approached these challenges with resilience and a growth mindset. Instead of letting them discourage her, she saw them as opportunities for learning and growth. Each setback became a stepping stone towards a greater understanding of her own artistic process and an opportunity to push her creative boundaries. As time went on, Susan realized that sustaining her creativity was not just about achieving external goals or milestones. It was about cultivating a mindset of continuous growth and embracing the journey itself. She learned to appreciate the small victories along the way, the moments of breakthrough and inspiration that would fuel her passion for years to come. In this chapter of her artistic journey, Susan discovered that sustaining her creativity required a delicate balance of ambition and self-care. She learned the importance of taking breaks, giving herself permission to rest and recharge. By honoring her own needs and creating a harmonious lifestyle, she found that her creativity blossomed even more. Chapter 11 marked a new chapter in Susan's creative journey. With a renewed commitment to self-reflection, continuous learning, setting goals, and staying motivated, she found that her artistic practice became sustainable and fulfilling. She understood that creativity was not just a destination, but an ongoing and ever-evolving process. As she embarked on this path, she embraced the challenges and opportunities that came her way, knowing that sustaining her creativity was a lifelong pursuit. And with each step, she grew as an artist and as a person ready to take on whatever the artistic world had in store for her. Question, what practices can help sustain creativity in the